Hi everyone, welcome to Princess Street Gardens. It's really good to see you again. For this week's episode, I thought that I would do a skin and hair care special. I did mention in my previous video that I was going to be including skincare as part of my autumn shopping in Edinburgh, but I realised that this is such a big topic that it probably is best to do a sole focus on just that subject. As you know, skin and hair care is one of my big passions and as the winter is coming up, I think it's really important to really learn about how we can transition our skin and hair care to suit the colder climates. So join me for this skincare special where I'll be talking to some experts about how we can take care of our skin during the cold climate. I'll also be shopping for some new skincare products that are natural and perfect for the winter. And finally, we're going to be visiting my hairstylist who is helping me to grow my hair and really take care of it during that process. As well as what you can do to care for your hair during the colder months. So I'm here at the Edinburgh Natural Skincare Company and this is one of my favourite places to shop. It's got the most beautiful natural products and I've been using this rose and geranium oil for the last two years since I moved here. I was looking for an oil that really just makes my skin moisturised after being so dry in the winter but that isn't sticky or leaves residue. And the great thing about this one is that you just apply it with your fingers, within half an hour it's fully absorbed into the skin and it just leaves you with the most nourished, moisturised skin, which is perfect. It really does combat that winter dryness that, for me, I suffer with. The other great thing about the Edinburgh Natural Skincare Company is that they do these little pots of moisturisers so that you can try them out. How often have you bought a moisturiser that comes in a big pot? It's very expensive and you find out that you don't really like it. It does take quite a few tries, a few days for you to figure out whether something works for your skin. The beauty of these is that if they don't work, you've only got a little bit in the pot. And then if you want to buy more, you can. This is an anti-aging face cream. I would like to try something like this now that I'm in my 30s. It's important to try to stop aging if we can, even though it's a natural process. But I'm going to try this one. It is 100% cruelty free, not tested on animals, and it's an ultra rich anti aging face cream. So I'm going to try this one and see how it goes. I've just arrived at the Dr. Nesta Clinic probably the most renowned aesthetic clinic in Edinburgh to speak to some of the experts here about how we can take care of our skin during the colder months. So Dr. Lauren, in the winter time my skin gets really dry and can you can you tell us why that happens and what we can do to resolve that issue that I know that many people have? Yes, you're, you're absolutely right. Skin, skin does change um, seasonally. Um, and a lot of people really struggle with mm -hmm. their, their, their skin in the, in the winter. Typically what we're seeing is people having issues with redness, dryness, flakiness, itching, sometimes mm -hmm. quite irritated skin. Yeah. And that's because there are a number of things that are happening within the skin and quite a number of factors that are influencing how our skin changes. So um, when we see skin becoming drier and flakier, that means our natural exfoliation has reduced mm -hmm. and the dead skin right at the surface of the skin is not coming away as effectively mm -hmm. as, as it normally does. Mm -hmm. And that means that skin is, is becoming rougher 
and it also means that any products that we're using on the skin are not able to penetrate right, as effectively okay. so our skincare is not working as as well mm -hmm. and and we also find that things like central heating things yes. like cold weather um all contribute to to, to that process happening and um, we also see a reduction in the skin's ability to a uh, hydrate itself from inside mm -hmm. and because of that that is contributing to why the skin is feeling drier tighter flakier and more irritated because right. its barrier has been has been disrupted so okay. it, it there's actually quite a lot going on there you mentioned about the exfoliation so mm -hmm. is is really trying to exfoliate more a good thing to do? We actually need to be a little bit careful with exfoliation in terms of what we're actually doing for the skin. We mm -hmm. want to make sure that uh, we're not overdoing exfoliation. We want to support the skin to um, hydrate itself from inside and we want to repair the barrier, which by definition means that the natural exfoliation will will improve uh, as, a, as a consequence of that. Sure. So I quite often recommend that uh, people perhaps change their exfoliator, use yeah. something a little bit more gentle or mm. exfoliate a little bit less frequently, right. but use some supportive products that are going to uh, improve the, the skin's uh, condition from the inside by supporting repair of the skin's barrier. Here we are absolute um, advocates of really looking at what our skincare products are doing and my own belief is that having a robust skincare program, here we advocate um, medical grade skincare uh -huh. uh, that allows the skin to be supported from the inside um, and means that skin health is maintained all year round because it's tolerant to um, stressors and to changes in, in things like seasonal conditions. It's very interesting. Okay, so I know that SPF is really important with your skincare. I wear it 365 days a year. Excellent. What do you think about sunlight? I've heard that it does improve, help the skin improve during the winter time. What do you think about that in terms of, is it going to damage our skin or is it okay to have a little bit of sunshine? So let, let's, let's be really clear, sun is beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. It helps with um, vitamin D production, it improves our mood, our sleep, all of that. However, it is a huge factor in how our skin can uh, age over time, but also in terms of how our skin can become sensitive and reactive because of the breakdown of the skin's natural mm -hmm. barrier as a result of the harmful rays that do come from the skin. So, you're absolutely right. 365 days a year, all of us should be using SPF. We recommend a minimum of an SPF 30, mm -hmm. um, but also looking for SPF sun protection products that will protect not only against a broad spectrum UVA and UVB, but also against infrared and mm -hmm. against high energy visible light, which will quite, quite often come from devices and, and such light. And of course, we were being more inside more during mm -hmm. the winter, we are more likely to be using our, our, our screens and um, close to our faces. So high energy visible light is, is kind of like the new kid on the block in terms of harmful rays. We're only just coming into more understanding about what it, what that actually does and it's only because our increased use of um, of, of devices has uh, started to, to to actually have downstream effects mm. on, on our skin and it's, it's very similar to the um, oxidative stress that uh, happens as a result of of sunlight um, but it's coming from a more artificial source so it's really important that we start to be aware of these yeah. other lifestyle factors. I didn't really know about that so that's very it's interesting useful. isn't it? Yeah. So Helen we've just talked to Dr Lauren about the more scientific side of skincare and what do you what would you recommend for someone like me who's struggling in the winter time with dry skin what treatments would you recommend for someone like me? Okay um, I mean there's a lot of treatments out there as we all know and mm -hmm. um, you cannot go wrong with something like a hydrofacial uh -huh. it's the world's leading facial at the moment it is worldwide and um, suitable for everyone and anyone great one for the winter because it's got great combination of exfoliating that dead dry skin mm. but as well as infusing lovely antioxidants which are going to protect the skin and lots of hydrators in order to help the skin naturally hydrate from within as well right. it's a fantastic in-depth facial that's a lot more advanced mm. but without 
any downtime. So there's no redness after, your skin's not going to feel uncomfortable after, you've just got a lovely, beautiful radiance and a glow. And that can be done as a one-off, even yeah. just to give the skin a boost in the winter. Mm -hmm. Or they can be done quite regularly to can maintain that skin health as well. So you just mentioned about collagen in, as part of the treatment, and I'm starting to see that quite a lot in terms of, it's, 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 it's a big trend at the minute, you see it in a lot of supplements and stuff. What, what is your take on that and would you recommend taking collagen supplements? Definitely for sure, but the right kind of supplements. Mm -hmm. um, as you see, it's quite a buzzword at the moment. Um, yeah. Everyone talks about collagen supplements. The key things to remember, um, when you're looking at collagen, you want between 7,000 and 10,000 milligrams of collagen in one dose. Okay. okay? You want to focus on what kind of collagen it is, whether it's um, marine collagen, bovine, man-made. Um, so look at the research that's been done on it, and is there any clinical research done on those, mm -hmm. on those ingredients and those products? You tend to always find as well the body will absorb the collagen better if it's in a liquid form or potentially powder form as well. Um, tablet form, you tend to find the, the body will struggle that a little bit more. Right. Um, we have done a lot of research into collagen supplements in the clinic. Um, Dr. Nesta is really passionate about that, as am I and the other doctors in clinic. And um, we have two, we have um, Skin Fusion, mm -hmm. Zeni Skin Fusion, which is fantastic. There's 10,000 milligrams of collagen in there. That's my favourite. It's just a little shot you take every day, so it's nice and easy. And then you've got one called Skinnied as well, which is also fantastic. 7,000 milligrams of collagen in there. And they have lots of other vitamins in them as well, which is fantastic, especially for the winter when sometimes we can um, get the odd cold. Mm. So it helps with that as well. So we briefly touched on antioxidants. Um, what would you tell us? What can you tell us about that and how it can help our skin improve? So antioxidants are a great one all year round. Um, but as your skin's feeling a little bit more kind of dehydrated, drier in the winter, um, rather than going to your favourite moisturiser, which mm. kind of is not always ideal because it, it does the skin's job for it. It's just kind yeah. of pretending the skin's hydrating and giving a bit more hydration uh -huh, on the surface rather than hydrating from within. It's a good one to look at antioxidants instead because yes. your antioxidants are going to help to support the skin's natural barrier function uh -huh. and they're going to help to, to hydrate the skin from within rather than just masking that concern with a moisturiser. So thank you for chatting with us and before I go, do you have any top tips that you can give me and my audience about how we can really look after our skin? So definitely drinking lots of water, really important, um, it can increase your in water intake through the winter. Mm -hmm. um, vitamin E, extremely important, so your retinols, and yes. keep going with your retinols throughout the winter. Um, vitamin C, another really important one because it's your powerful antioxidant, so that will again help with your hydration levels and your collagen levels. Mm -hmm. um, most importantly, keep wearing your sunscreen. It's yes. winter, I know it's not sunny, but that UVA rays is still there, and that's what makes us wrinkle. I've been telling you for a long time about the sunscreen now. <laughs>I'm only getting a light trim, I don't want the back and sides to be too short as I'm aiming for a more classic look. I'm having the tiniest amount cut off the ends so the top falls better. Whilst my hair is wet, Carl is using a dry shampoo. This one is great because it doesn't leave white residue in your hair. 
Using dry shampoo will give your hair the look and texture of the second day after washing. I don't know about you, but I always prefer the second day when it's not so soft and has a more strong hold. Thank you, Carl. I absolutely love it. After a long day, I'm going home to make a glow-boosting autumn salad. I will post the recipe in the description of this video. I've chopped sweet potato with beetroot and cauliflower, and I'm drizzling it with olive oil and then seasoning with mold and sea salt. I'll use my hands to evenly coat everything. I usually use a Ziploc bag, but I need to restock. Next I'm adding a little dried thyme to add earthiness for a real taste of winter. And I'm going to pop this in the oven to roast for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to make the salad dressing. I'm juicing two lemons and then I will chop some coriander. In a jug, I'm adding some olive oil, and to this, I'll pour in some Greek yogurt. Now, I'm adding the lemon juice and coriander, and I'll finish with a sprinkling of sea salt. Give it a good mix and set aside. The yogurt adds such a freshness to this dressing, I pretty much use it in most of my salads. For speed, I'm using a microwavable packet of quinoa. Put this on about three minutes before the vegetables have finished roasting, and then once it's ready, begin to serve. This is a really delicious salad that is perfect for winter. I always love a warm salad in the colder months. It is also packed with antioxidants, so your skin will glow whilst you tuck into this healthy feast. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's episode and found some useful skincare tips that you can carry forward into your own routines. Thank you to the whole team at Dr. Nesta and of course, Carl Ross at Sovereign Grooming. I will see you next Friday, but until then, I hope you have a really great weekend and a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.